Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be changing the axle on my SRT4. It is making this weird clinking noise while it's going down the road. It's like uh, every time I let off the gas, I'm going dug, 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 dug. So I'm pretty sure it's a bad CV joint, and I don't know why it's broken. <laughs> be changing the axle on my black SRT and the garage though is currently occupied by the race car so that's gonna be a problem my solution to this is doing this in my portable garage if you can see it so I'm gonna move this orange SRT out and put the black one in it it's gonna be a bummer I'm not gonna lie it's gonna just I don't want to do it, but this thing isn't getting done anytime soon, so I gotta do what I gotta do, and I could have taken it to a friend's house. That's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna get the black SRT in there, and then start taking things apart, and I will show you what I do step by step. It, it's pretty simple, it doesn't take a lot. The only annoying part is on the driver's side, you do have to drain the oil, so I will be draining all my transmission fluid, which really isn't that old. It just got serviced, so I'm gonna be changing out the brand new fluid which is kind of whack and I know I could jack up the car to one side and pull the axle out that way but who wants to do that all right so I'm gonna put this in the garage now and we're gonna get right into this video Well, I got the car in and it looks like it might work out pretty good. There's kind of a, not a lot of room, but there's, I mean, between me and the car and the, the fin between the tent and the car, look, there's a pretty good amount of space. Here, check it out. So, I mean, there's like a good, I don't know, three feet. Three feet is more than enough space to do this. But now I'm gonna be able to get the car jacked up and see what I can do and start taking stuff apart. Uh, it should work out really, really well. I'm actually pretty excited to work in this thing. Since that car is taking up so much space in the garage, this is gonna be really cool to have this space to work on the SRT a little bit and hopefully there's enough space. It looks like there's gonna be, but eh, you never know. So at this point, I am gonna get the car jacked up and start tearing stuff apart. So I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so I got the transmission oil out and I just wanted to show you what I did. So there's one eight millimeter bolt and then there's a fill plug you gotta take out and then all the oil should come out. So check it out. All right, so there's the eight millimeter bolt that you use with the Allen wrench, not like a uh, actual uh, ratchet. So Allen wrench, you pull that bad boy out. But first there's a drain plug on the driver's side of the car right there and you just pull it out with your hand and then it makes this nice smooth flow down. So in the beginning of this video I had said that I had brand new transmission fluid. Well, that was a lie. So whoever serviced it didn't service it. So it wasn't brand new fluids. If um, when I pull this thing out. Oh, actually shows up good. So yeah, see that nasty dark red stuff? That was the fluid, the ATF or whatever. And it does not look good at all. It looks it looks bad. It looks really old. So it's probably a good thing that I'm doing this now and getting out, uh, getting rid of this old fluid. So. And now we're going to start taking the wheel apart, trying to get the axle out. And I just did this to get the a new wheel hub put in. And I think it's going to be pretty easy. To, everything's loose, so it should be really easy to get this stuff out. I'm going to keep you guys in for the ride and let's get this thing taken apart. So I'm going to give you guys a little game plan of what I'm going to do to get the axle out. So in my limited space, I'm going to be taking out the caliper, the caliper bracket, the axle nut, and I think I'm going to be taking off the tie rod end as well so I can move the hub around a little bit. And that is the game plan so far. So I'll show you what I'm doing and I'll put the specs of what needs to be undone and what size they are. So the first thing I'm gonna do is be taking the caliper off.
Okay, now I'm gonna take the cotter pin off and take the little cover off and get to this big bolt. So let's do that real quick. Well, that's what I get for having a rusty cart. So now that I got access to the bolt, I'm going to stick a screwdriver in here to keep it from turning. And then I got my big, what size is this? My big one and a quarter inch socket, deep socket, by the way. And I'm gonna put it over here and pop it off. And it should be, it shouldn't be stuck. How about that? Because I've done this not too long ago and it just shouldn't be stuck. It should be a little bit easier. So I'm gonna pop this thing off real quick. I think I'll need the breaker bar, but you never know. Nope, no breaker bar needed. Okay. Bolt out. There's a washer in here, but we'll get that later. All right, and so now I'm going to take the caliper bracket off and it is two bolts in the back. Okay, so now that we've got this all taken apart, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take actually the tie rod end off. So it's one, oh God, there's a cotter pin in this too. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the tie rod end off and there's a cotter pin and then a nut down here and I will be, uh, our castle nut down here and I'll be po popping that off real quick and I'll tell you the size when I get there. But first, to get the cotter pin out. Okay, boom. Cotter pin out. So it's a three quarter inch for the tie rod end. So let's do that real quick. Pop that thing off. Mine should pop off because I've done this before. Bang the knuckle all around. Oh God, it's tight. Am I going the right way? No. That's the thing. Oh, really? Why do you hate me? Come on. Oh, there we go. That was tight enough. Poof. All right, castle nut off. So you're supposed to bang the knuckle and free up the tie rod, and we'll see. You're not supposed to tap it up because you don't want to hurt the threads. You, my friend, suck. There we go. Came loose, knuckle banging completed. Needs to be greased. Oh God. Now that the tie rod in is off, and now that everything looks like it's moving along nicely, we are going to pull off the knuckle from the strut. And to do that, there is two bolts, and mine is a little out of the ordinary because I have caster camber bolts on the top. But, on the bottom is a normal size, and I will tell you what that is in a second. And it's gonna be not small. How about that? All right, so it's a 21 on both sides. And uh, I've done this about a billion, zillion times already, so. Really. We're just going to pop it off. And so this is not typical, but I'll be using the 18 on top for my caster camber bolt to get that bad boy out. And I already got the setting, plus the car needs to be aligned again anyway after this. While you weren't looking, I marked it where the knuckle actually sits so I can put the caster camber bolt in the right spot. Just FYI. Okay. Science. And then the bottom one you can just pop out. Woo! You don't want to spin the bolt on the bolt side because it has these little serrated edges so it doesn't spin because you don't want it to spin and get loose while you're driving so my recommendation would be don't loosen it up on this side just loosen it up on the nut side and then pop this bad boy out like i just did 
Maybe go flying like a rocket. So I can actually pop this out of the knuckle now from my knowledge. So I'm just gonna laply, I'm not gonna laply do anything. I'm gonna lightly tap this thing out and it's already coming out. Am I bearing? That's supposed to be solid? I feel like that should not be moving. Not pro at this at all. I feel like that's not supposed to do that. So upon further inspection, my axle is A-OK -okay and my wheel bearing is wrecked. And when I say wrecked, I mean wrecked. And I just replaced this wheel bearing, I don't know, two, three months ago. Well, maybe a little bit, three, four months ago. And it's an AutoZone bearing, a Duralast, and it, it didn't Duralast at all. I mean, just wait for it. That's not good, but there shouldn't be play in the sealed wheel bearing at all. And I can almost move the whole thing. Look at this. So we're still going to replace the axle since we got this far. This needs to be fixed. So there's going to be a part two to this video. I'm still going to put the new axle in just since I drained the fluid and went through all the trouble of doing it and I have the new axle, why not? It can't hurt anything and this one's all rusty and gross anyway. It's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm just gonna put the new axle in and get that done. On the other hand, I am not gonna put the car back together though because that can't be driven like that and that's horrible. No wonder I was feeling on the road. That makes perfect sense now. <laughs> So I will be showing what I do to get the wheel bearing off on another video, but let's keep the show rolling. I'm going to pop this axle out, put the new one in, but I'm not going to install everything back. I'm just going to put that new axle in and call it a day. All right, let's pop this axle out. So I know there's, you got to pop it out from the bottom. So I'm going to do that real quick. So let me show you what I did to pop this thing out real quick. And it was very simple. The axle is out now but there is a snap ring at the end of this. And what you do is you stick a, some kind of like screwdriver, breaker bar, something in between here and the transmission and literally just pops right out. Very simple, very easy. You can see right in there, it's ready to pop something back in. I'm not gonna leave it open too long cause I don't wanna get contaminant in there. So um, I'm gonna pop it right back in real quick. And so the axle isn't all the way in yet. But so what I did is I just stuck a screwdriver right there and literally just popped out and that was as simple as that. Very easy to do, didn't take any time at all, just popped right on out. Okay, so I got the axle in and like I was saying earlier, all I did was push on the back of it and it popped right out and I was able to get the old one out and put the new one in. And all I did for the new one is I just slid it into the housing and that was it. I just slid it back into the housing and gave it a little force, pushed on it, feels good, it doesn't come out, so it's ready to go. All right, so that's all I'm gonna get done for now. I can't do anything else till I get that new wheel bearing, so I'm probably just gonna take that apart and get it machined in and pressed in and be done with it. I know it wasn't a very, um, not excited, it wasn't very productive, it was not a very productive video at all. I wish I would've got done more, and I am gonna get it fixed, this is gonna be, part one of two and I will show it showing I will show it getting fixed and all that good stuff for now it's gonna live in this little tent for a little bit and then it'll get fixed oh that's a bummer I wanted to get this thing driving by the weekend but that's not gonna happen so much for Willow Springs this weekend so it, it is what it is at least I know what the problem is and I can fix it that's all that matters and it, I guess it got a new axle that it didn't need hate when I do that kind of stuff and I, I know everybody watching my videos hates that kind of stuff too so it's just gonna live in here for a little bit and I will get it taken care of all right guys well I'm sorry for a non-productive video but sometimes it happens you get 
I, I've been running into a lot of car problems lately on my channel, like a lot. I mean, I talked to my engine builder about the Mustang and I have some solutions for that, so that'll be on my Sunday video, figuring that out and what I gotta do to fix it. So, but we're at the end of the video now because I was supposed to finish and that was the video, but now it's a vlog of failing at trying to repair my SRT4. <laughs> so that is the end of the video today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, even though I didn't get anything done, really. God, I'm irritated about that still. But that's it. Um, and then the SRT4 will probably get fixed on the next Thursday video, and it'll be running and driving again, hopefully. Hopefully. So that's it. Um, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this nonsense, please like and subscribe and follow for more nonsense, because I have a ton of it. It's, I'm brimming over with nonsense. So all we do is work on my cars and try to make them faster and run properly. That's the key, I'm trying to make things run properly. I have a very hard time at making things run properly, obviously. Well, I don't even know if it's that. It's just nothing ever fits right when I try to fix it or the things I fix don't actually fix it and it's another problem and you know, whatever. So thanks again, guys. That's the end of the video. Um, I'll catch you on the next video. Why aren't you an 18, bro? Are you just making my. Probably some weird. Ugh.